Hello there. In this lecture, we'll see what is a data frame in Apache Spark. A data frame is a distributed collection of data organized into named columns. You can consider this data frame as a table in a relational database. Uh, or you can consider it a, like an, a spreadsheet or an Excel sheet in which data is represented in rows and column format. Right? And uh, the concept of this data frame has been uh, uh, inspired by uh, Python Pandas uh, data frame and uh, R programming language data frame. Uh, but with a richer optimizations under the hood to work in a distributed environment with huge amounts of data. And this data frame uh, uses this Spark SQL, uh, which in turn uses a catalyst optimizer for uh, optimizing the SQL queries or, uh, or to run through the DAG uh, and uh, to execute the operations and to uh, uh, run any of the uh, data frame related operations. Features of data frame. Data frame allows developers to impose uh, structure to the distributed data. In an RDD, you can, uh, you'll, ha you'll just have a data frame, uh, or in an RDD, you'll just have a data distributed across, uh, uh, across the cluster. Uh, but with data frame, you can impose structure to the data. You can tell uh, what kind of data uh, that is and what is the column uh, name for the data. And you can extract the data based on the column names and you can uh, uh, extract only limited columns or you can extract uh, uh, the columns which are required by you. And you can do all kinds of uh, SQL uh, related uh, operations. You can write SQL queries uh, on top of your data frames. Right, uh, it's almost like uh, working with a uh, uh, structured query language, and uh, data frame supports a wide variety of data formats and uh, storage types. Uh, storage types might, uh, will be uh, something like uh, Amazon S3 or uh, HDFS. It can be uh, uh, OpenStack. It can be of any any storage uh, types. And data uh, data frames use a state of the art optimization and code generation through Spark SQL Catalyst Optimizer, right? And uh, it's easy to integrate uh, uh, with all big data tools uh, via Spark using data frames. And uh, data frame pro, uh, supports or uh, data frame has APIs uh, for Scala, Java, Python, and R programming languages, right? And creating a data frame. A data frame can be created with a wide variety of sources. Uh, starting from structured uh, data files through an existing RDD. Even you can create a data frame uh, with a data set as well. We'll cover this topic when we are discussing about a data set. A data frame can be uh, created from a structured data file such as a CSV file or a JSON file or an Avro file or a Parquet file. Or you can even you can create a uh, data frame from a Cassandra database as well. And uh, you can also create data frames using a hive table. Uh, either an entire hive table can be converted into one data frame, or uh, you can join uh, two or more uh, data frames or two or more uh, uh, hive tables, and you can join together and uh, uh, create a single data frame. And uh, you can uh, run all kinds of uh, SQL operations on top of your uh, data frame. Once you create a data frame, uh, it's almost like you're working with a Hive, uh, or almost you're working with a structured uh, query language. Uh, it, it provides us, uh, in the back end, it uses Spark SQL and the Catalyst uh, Optimizer for uh, working with the data frames. Data frames can also be created with an external databases such as uh, MySQL or Postgre or whatever databases that support uh, that supports uh, JDBC, right? And uh, you can also create an, uh, data frames using an existing RDD. Uh, if you have an RDD, you just impose the schema on top of RDD and you can convert that RDD into a data frame. And uh, how does this data frame look? Uh, typically, a data frame will have uh, a schema. A schema, in the sense, it will have a column name and uh, what, what is the type of the column. And it will also show, uh, it will also have whether the column can have a null value or not. And uh, data in the data frame is represented as a collection of row objects. Each row object will have its own, uh, uh, it will have the schema. Entire data frame will have one single schema, and the sch schema will be uh, uh, will have this column name, column type, and nullable or not. And as uh, as this 
data in the data frame is represented as collection of row objects okay and a data frame in spark 1.x and 2.x right they are created in a different uh, way uh, due to the changes which are uh, available in spark 2 version prior to spark 2 version that is in spark 1.x version uh, starting uh, uh, data frame will be created uh, uh, using a SQL context or a Hive context. Uh, so that means uh, to create a uh, to create a data frame, first you have to create a Spark configuration. On top of which you have to create a Spark context. On top of which you have to create an Spark uh, SQL context using which you can create a data frame. You have a hierarchy to do uh, create a data frame uh, in Spark 1.x version. Uh, but starting from Spark 2 version, there is only a single point of entry for any of the Spark uh, job. That single point of entry is Spark session. The Spark session uh, will have SQL context and it will also support Hive context. So uh, you don't have to worry about uh, creating of uh, SQL context or Hive context to create a data frame. Using a Spark session, you can directly create a data frame and you can work on top of that data frame. right? Uh, this is just a basic uh, uh, intro about the data frames and uh, how the data frame works and uh, in the coming lectures we'll see how to create a data frame and uh, how to run SQL queries on top of a data frame and other operations using data frames right uh, so that's it for this lecture guys and uh, see you in the next lecture bye guys